some storms. Yeah. You've been talking about it all. <laughs> it has been a little weeks. bit uh, crazy out that way. I've been keeping an eye on that storm. Really no impacts to the eastern seaboard. Just probably going to be dealing with some high swim uh, risk as well as some rip currents there along the eastern seaboard. But uh, yeah, Bermuda looking to take almost a direct impact from this, but it will be weakening as it approaches, which is at least some good news. So right now that storm actually uh, sustained winds at 100 miles per hour. That's your maximum wind speed uh, movement. It's moving along a little bit at about 13 miles per hour. But yeah, this is just to the south of Bermuda on satellite imagery. Looks like we're kind of losing that definition with the eye, uh, but it will continue to drift to the north and east. But there's Bermuda, probably a category one by the time it uh, starts to move there and then continues up through the northern Atlantic as it will start to transition out of that tropical setting. All right, yesterday back here at home. Boy, what a day it was uh, for rainfall across the area. Many of us picking up between half of an inch to an inch worth of rainfall had a report out of Whitefish Bay uh, over an inch of rainfall, and we still have some additional showers and thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. You can see the swirl here around our area of low pressure, otherwise fairly quiet across the central plains. But this morning across parts of the Badger State, we've been waking up to a little bit of some thunder and also might have seen some lightning, especially here in northeastern Wisconsin, and it does include portions of Fond du Lac and Dodge counties where a few of these showers and storms had developed over the last hour or two. No severe weather with any of this, just some good downpours in here. And you again, you might hear a little bit of some thunder with this. This, this activity is actually expected to clear the area here shortly and it'll give way to a mainly dry morning. But I tell you, step outside, it's not going to feel like it. The dew point in Milwaukee, 72. Your air temperature, 73. Look at this. It might as well be the clouds right at the ground. We've got patchy fog across parts of the area this morning. 68 right now in Waukesha. Your dew points at 68 as well. So completely saturated. This is the point at which you bring the temperature to the dew point. No wind. It's no surprise we've got some patchy fog out there. Low 70s in Racine and Kenosha, upper 60s a little bit farther inland. It is muggy out there. It feels almost tropical as you step out the door. We don't often see 70 plus degree dew points in parts of southern Wisconsin. Now, we're going to keep the rain chance fairly limited again outside of those folks in our northern communities this morning, dodging those isolated showers and storms. I'm holding off on the rain chances until this afternoon. Reason being is we have this area of low pressure that continues to spin into Wisconsin as it does so. We take on some daytime heating, scattered showers, thunderstorms develop in the western part of the state and then start to move in our direction by late afternoon, early evening. So dinner time plans heading out to Irish Fest. This is what you're going to be dealing with, and there is a chance that one or two of these storms could be on the stronger side. But by 10 11 o'clock tonight, a lot of that is out of here. Still going to be holding on to some very hit and miss shower activity heading into Saturday because that area of low pressure is awfully close to the neighborhood. So heading into tomorrow morning and even into the afternoon, holding a chance here for some hit and miss shower and storm activity. It does look like our Saturday won't be a complete washout, but we'll definitely be on the lookout for some additional rain. Storm Prediction Center is including us in a level one marginal risk of severe weather for this afternoon and evening's batch of showers and storms, the strongest of those could produce some hail as well as some gusty winds. So we'll be watching that carefully. Myself, meteorologist Kristen Kershane will have you covered tomorrow. Again, isolated showers, perhaps a hit and miss thunderstorm. Highs remain in the upper 70s, but once we get to Sunday, folks, and certainly into next week, look at this, a stretch of beautiful sunshine. Those temperatures start to fall as well, low mid 70s, and we'll finally start to drop that humidity as well.